Hi everyone, welcome back to online classroom Jekutio. In this video, we are going to look at hypothetical situation related to the solar system. This is also our last topic for the chapter. Well, have you ever wondered what will happen if one day our Earth slow down in its rotation or it completely stop rotating? What will happen? Will that affect us? Oh, for sure they're gonna affect us. Number one, and we might have longer day and night because the Earth rotates a lot slower in the two different parts of the Earth. If the Earth completely stopped, then what might happen? The, the face of the Earth that faced the sun, the bright side, will have more desert areas because we that area will be constantly facing the sun as the earth stop rotating and its temperature is gonna rise and there will be change in the high and low tides as well and on the darker sides of the earth that do not receive that much sunlight the temperature will drop in another words we might have very extreme weather if the earth stop rotating completely or even just slow down in the rotation next Jekutio would like to talk a little bit about the natural satellites satellites are objects that move around the planets on earth we have already launched quite a lot of man-made satellite however the earth only have one we only have one natural satellite the one that god has given us it is the moon okay we only have one natural satellite even though we have a lot of man-made ones well the moon just like the uh the earth it will rotate and it will also it rotates on its own axis okay it rotates on its own axis and it also orbit around the earth okay it has its own orb orbit that it moves around the earth and also the size of the earth is four times bigger than the moon that means we need four moons to put together to achieve the size of the earth well one very special thing about the moon is that for it to complete one rotation on its own when it spins it takes 27 days it is very long it is the same time that is required for the moon to also orbit the the earth okay so the moon needs 27 days to complete one round to take a trip around the earth and also for it to complete one rotation on its own on its axis this means that it is the same face of the moon the same surface of the moon that is always facing the earth okay i will show you how it is this is what happened okay Jekutio have this moon here and half of it the face is colored in yellow the other half is more orange so if the yellow face is the face that is facing the earth it will always be the same face that is facing the earth okay it doesn't change well the earth is actually the only planet that is suitable for living things why there are a few characteristics that made it so the first one is that the earth has a lot of water for all living processes and also we have high oxygen content for all the living things on earth other planets you don't find oxygen that high in content and we have also suitable temperature range that is not too cold and not too hot it is just right for us and our atmosphere also block away the very dangerous ultraviolet rays and from reaching us and also we receive enough sunlight for our plants to conduct photosynthesis and we have gravity to help us from to keep us from floating away to the outer space so that we are not flying around and floating around it will be very annoying it will be very difficult to do anything imagine you just want to sit down and have your breakfast but your coffee your sandwiches even you yourself at the table are all floating away how frustrating right so we are grateful 
for the earth that we are being blessed with. Because of that, we need to love our earth. While human has increased very quickly in our population, and that actually has caused the exploration of the seas and the land to become more and more over the time. So we have something called the ecological footprint. What is ecological footprint? It is actually a measure. It is like a ruler that we use to measure to see if our Earth can still sustain us. Okay, what does that mean? It measure two abilities of the Earth. Number one, the ability of the Earth to give us the basic needs like the water, the land, okay, to help us to continue living here. And the other one is, we not only take away from the Earth, we use the resources from the Earth. We also produce waste. Okay, we also produce waste, and when we produce waste, we give it back to our Earth. The Earth has to have the ability to absorb. Okay, to absorb and take all these waste to reproduce resources that can be used by us again. So the ecological footprint actually measure the Earth's. Ability to give us what we need and also to process our waste so that they can make more resources for us to use. The ecological footprint is measured or is divided into six different categories. Number one, the carbon. Second, construction areas. Third, forests. Fourth, number four, the agriculture. Number five, farming areas, and number six, fishing areas. And all of this、uh, is is used to provide for our needs like energy, settlement, wood, paper, food, source of fibers, and seafood. And we produce waste. That the Earth will have to absorb and reproduce these sources. So that is what ecological footprint is about. Well, that's all from Chekutio. We have completed chapter twelve. Congratulations for staying through with me. All right, I'll see you in the next video where we will go into chapter thirteen. See you then. Bye. If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.